Hello and welcome back to another Crypto Nation video tutorial. Today we'll be setting up the Freenet utility for queued inserts and downloads, also known as FUQID. For this tutorial, you'll need to have a Freenet node running and be connected to the network or other nodes. If you haven't already done that and need help setting up Freenet, please go to www.cryptonation.com and watch the tutorial on setting up Freenet for your operating system. All right, let's get this started. Open your Freenet browser page and click on one of the indexers. For this example, I'll be using the Ultimate Freenet Index Free Site. Once it loads, click on the FUQID link. When the FUQID Free Site loads, click on Download. Scroll down and click on the FUQID v1.0 zip file. On the next screen, scroll down and click the Download button. Please note the old version of FUQID 0.7 v 0.3 will not work with Freenet build 1255 or above due to encoding differences. You'll want FUQID v 1.0. The next step in this video tutorial isn't needed if you're running Windows or if you already have Wine installed for your Linux operating system. Since I'm using a fresh install of Ubuntu for this tutorial, while we wait for FUQID to download, Open a new browser and go to www.winehq.com and click on Download. Then click on the Download Ubuntu Packages link. Let's add the WineHQ repository. Open the Ubuntu Software Center or this can also be done via the Synaptic Package Manager. Go to the menu and click on Edit software sources and type in your password if prompted. Once the window opens, click on the Other Software tab and click Add. In the apt line, type in ppa colon ubuntu dash wine slash ppa and click Add Source then click Close. While the sources update, you can search for wine if you want. Click on the non-beta release and click on more info. Once the sources update or refresh, you'll notice that the version is the most up-to-date version and you can click install. If prompted, go ahead and type in your password to install Wine. You can close the browser tab for Wine downloads and let's refresh the Freenet downloads page to check on the status of FUQID. After FUQID has downloaded, you can click the checkbox to the left of it and then click Remove Files from List. Don't worry, this won't delete the file. Let's get the FUQID zip file and put it on our desktop. For Windows XP, this would be under C, Documents and Settings, Your Username, Application Data, Freenet, and Downloads. Since we're using Ubuntu in this video, it's going to be under Places, Home folder, Freenet, and Downloads. Click and drag the FUQID zip file to your desktop. Go ahead and extract the files. While I didn't do it in this video, I'd actually suggest putting the FUQID exe into a FUQID folder as it will create other files as you'll notice in a few moments. Once Wine finishes installing, close the software center. As a reminder, if you're running on Windows, you can simply double click and run the EXE. If, however, you're on Ubuntu or a Linux distro, you'll need to install Wine. Since we've installed Wine, we can now double click and run FUQID. To insert a file, simply click the Insert button, select your file, and click Open. Please note, initially it will put load on your machine while it prepares the file to be inserted, and the uploading process can be slow. You should also leave the Insert As drop-down to the default to SSK unless you understand the options. Let's go back and copy the FUQID download link so we can test downloads in FUQID. Just right-click on the download link and click Copy Link Location. Since this is a first-run FUQID, we need to go ahead and set the groups. First, go to FUQID in the menu and click on Settings, then click on the Groups tab. Create a new group named Default and choose a download folder, then click Add as new group. 
click Save and Use Settings. Change the Download dropdown from All Files to Default. Click Add Keys and click Add. As you can see in this example, we ran into an error. We already have the file on our desktop. Let's delete the fuqid zip file from the desktop and click Add again. The file has been added and in this instance has downloaded rapidly due to parts or all of it existing in my notes data store. We can now remove the finished file from fuqid and close it. Additionally, as with inserts initially putting load on your system while it prepares the file, downloads will put load on your system once the file has finished and is decoding. As noted before, you should put the fuqid exe into a folder to keep all the settings files together and to create less clutter. Thank you for watching this video tutorial. I hope you found it useful.